Oh my god. This is a free people dress to the thing. Like the power of editing photos. Good morning guys. It's August 4th and today is my last day with Ryan, which is really sad. Um, we're gonna go to Briar Patch for brunch or lunch because it's actually like 12 something right now. We woke up pretty late. Ryan like passed out last night. Like I was like cleaning my room, he was just like sleeping. So he got a lot of good sleep, but he actually got a really bad sunburn from yesterday at the beach. So I had to like keep reapplying aloe for him. So sad. I mean, I, I don't really understand, but apparently he see, he says it feels like something like like an iron's burning him or something like that. I don't know. That sounds miserable. But after we go to Briar Patch for lunch, we're gonna hit up the outlets because we used to always go to like Mall of Millennia. But the last time I went there, I was just like, honestly, like, what even is there here? You know? Hmm. Do they even have a Forever 21? I don't even know. But like, yeah, they have some stores like Sephora and stuff like that. But like, other than that, I feel like it's just like walking around wasting time. But at least the outlets, it's like cheaper. <laughs> I have yet to go to the Waterford Forever 21, but I heard it's not that great, which is really, really sad to me. I like kind of already knew it because like it's kind of like in a smaller location than every other Forever 21. So I just feel like it's going to like look really nice at first and then just get super unorganized as it goes on because that's what happened to the one back home. Like they redid everything. It looked like amazing and then like literally a month later it was like back to the same like disorganized Forever 21. And like I love Forever 21 but it's just like so overwhelming when everything's just not organized the way it should be. What do you got to say for yourself, Red Lobster? I just took four Anvil, so. <laughs> four Anvil? Show them your, show them your redness. <laughs> you look tan at the camera, at least. It's this like. This is red, really. What? This is like red. Yeah, and like it gets worse, like on his back. So I went to Hobby Lobby, I got these frames for these random bags I have. And I put, <laughs> I put one in each frame and I just put them on my table over here and said, look at them. I'm gonna hang them up. I just need to take my ring light, um, not ring light, my, what are those called? Christmas lights. Christmas lights down. And I actually need to get new ones because one of like a line, like a whole line, like just like blew out. So I should just probably get new ones. I got them at Big Lots and for all those YouTubers out there, I think I told you guys this before, but like if you have the problem where like the lights keep like dimming and going out and going in in your background of your videos, it's because they're not LED, so you have to get LED lights, and then that won't happen. So guys, um, I tried to vlog it at 8 p.m., and now it's 1 p.m., and I'm finally ready. And... I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. I'm just kidding, okay. Thanks. Really take your time with it and rushing the big shit. Thanks. Says the guy who was rushing me this whole time. <laughs> Babe, can you put that in the fridge, so please? Are you going to clean it up? No, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm wearing Kristen on my lips by Kylie Cosmetics. I did a little Snapchat takeover on Ryan's snap. What's your Snapchat? So people can follow you. Ryan Willis 69. Ryan Willis 69. All one word. So I'll have it right here. So you guys can go follow him if you want. Maybe the more followers he gets, the more he will post on Snapchat because he like barely does. I heard 15 followers today just from posting her story. Yeah, he he was he was feeling the 15 seconds of fame or whatever he said. Will you get water for the car? Where is it? It's in the fridge. Water bottles? Yep. Prime, the water is for you. Don't you sigh. Thank you. Okay, I think we're good. Ready? My Pinterest DIY. <laughs> we just got to Winter Park. We were about to get out of our car and go to Briar Patch and get some good food. I just literally, like, I was editing my vlog of, like, Cancun, and I, I don't know, you guys will see it later, but, like, I started bawling my eyes out. We're gonna go get some food, but I actually, oh my god, I look so bad. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I vacuumed my whole car because it was so sandy from yesterday. I'm so blessed that I have a wireless um, vacuum that I could do that with. <gasps> That's so cute, you guys match. Ryan's a bear. That's like one of the emojis next to his name on my phone. <laughs> but if you guys have never been to Winter Park or live in the Orlando area, you should come here because it's like really cute. And it has like a lot of shops. I mean, they might not be like the most affordable, but it's somewhere good to walk around. It looks like closed. Maybe like there's no one. Yeah, maybe there's no one outside. You can always tell it's Briar Patch because the yellow tent thing. So Nisha's boyfriend showed me this website. I don't want to spill the deets just yet, but that's what it says. <clears throat> so that's what it says. And basically when somebody asks you like an obvious question or like a dumb question, you enter whatever they ask you in and then you press Google search and then you send them like the link to their phone. Okay, so open your phone. Let me see. You're gonna die. Is that funny? Is that funny? What? Like, and then you pick it so it Googles it for you. Is that funny? Uh, yeah, I, I said, like, I couldn't get a girlfriend. No, no, I because you didn't because I was just asking like a really random question, you know. Uh, so I literally just put in like how to get a girlfriend, whatever. So then he opened it and like it literally took him straight to Google. <laughs> so that could be like a sarcastic way if somebody asks you like an obvious question, just do that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Savage. What? I might have you on the powder here. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. I think this cake is. It looks so good. Literally, like, this kind of chocolate cake is, like, my favorite. What's it called? Ganache mousse kind of thing. But, oh Fudge. Fudge. Such nice adjectives. Alright, can I take a first bite? What? It's right there. What are you talking about? I like the ice. Is it good? So unfortunately, it decided to be so rainy outside. Like it literally started downpouring when we were in Briar Patch. We're probably just not gonna go to the outlets because it's an outside mall. So that kind of sucks because I actually really wanted to go to the outlets. But we're just going to do like local kind of shopping. Like we're going to hit up a Goodwill like on our way home in Winter Park. Which I bet they'll have like really cool stuff because like Winter Park's like a more wealthy area. So you know like I feel like wealthy people give their stuff you know. Unless they like distribute it like all throughout their Goodwills you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Distribute it? How do you say it? Uh, distribute. Distribute it. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. So we're going to Goodwill and then we're going to hit up Waterford Lakes and go in like the new Forever 21, which I'm pretty excited about. We just have chocolate cake. Like, <laughs> yeah. We got like the big chocolate cake at Briar Patch. It was pretty. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good, but oh my god, it was like deathly. I actually made a reservation for us to go to Better Than Sex tonight, and while we were eating that chocolate cake, I was like, Ryan, we cannot go to Better Than Sex tonight, because all they have is dessert there, like extreme desserts, like chocolate cake and stuff like that. So I was like, I swear, if like I eat another dessert for today, I will cry. So we were at Briar Patch, and like we waited like 10 minutes until our server came, and like I had to like wave down someone, and, like you know, oh, we're ready to order kind of thing. So the girl was like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like I didn't know, like no one came to you, kind of thing. And yeah, so I was like, okay, whatever. Like I was kind of pissed off because I was like, seriously, like that girl literally went to them first, and they sat down after us. So I was kind of pissed off. But then she was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. Like blah, blah blah she got busy and I was like oh, okay I thought you were just like doing that on purpose kind of thing then she like said she was gonna give us like a discount for like the inconvenience and stuff like that but she didn't so okay I'll see you girl promising shit I'm sad I straightened my hair because it's rainy my hair is so straight damn boy solutions huh salt water tricks salt water tricks teach me <clears throat> uh, <laughs> you dyed your hair to the same what? This is all virgin hair. Why never, been, never been dyed. 
Mine no, is too. No, you dyed yours. No, I cut off it but all. You bleached it with like peroxide. <laughs> I literally cut off all my ombre. It's all gone. This is full black hair. Yeah, dark brown. Dark that. brown. That's my natural hair. No, it's literally it's, all cut off. This was dyed. It's all cut off. I got it done in like sophomore year of high school. It is sophomore year of college now. It's gone. We just got to the Goodwill and it's actually a Goodwill boutique. I've never ever even heard of this, so I'm very interested to see what it is. It's probably gonna be like a little bit more expensive, but I don't know, maybe we'll just go to like the one in um, Oviedo if this is like not good, but I don't know. Might as well check it out. Are you gonna miss me? Yeah. <laughs> never seen a notebook actually <laughs> but I think I'm gonna do enough crying tonight <laughs> so I found this fashion illustration book which is like the best thing ever like I don't know I'm like not super into fashion but I've always liked to draw you know so I would literally die if I had this when I was like little and then I bought another frame for my gallery wall this one's like the same price of what I got but this one's a little bigger and I don't think Hobby Lobby had a bigger size just in this goodwill the clothes are kind of like more expensive than usual, but I guess they're a little nicer, so. I bought a really cool fashion book and I bought a frame. Ryan didn't get anything. No, how high size either. Oh, uh, did you think it was cool though? Yeah, it was weird. Pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It was like kind of small though. Yeah. But we're going to a place like right across. It's called the Avalon. It looks really cool looks super trendy. It's just like a Plato's Closet type thing. So it looks like they have nice clothes too. <laughs> Guys, branding is so important. Like look how nice this looks. It looks way better than Plato's Closet. And that's the only thing that dragged me into the store. This is a free people dress tunic thing. I love like, things like that. It's my favorite, so I'm gonna get it. You might, you could be a dress probably. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, for sure. Ryan found this really cool All Saints jean jacket. I want to see it on you. Can you put it on? It's a little small. What? It's a little small. Mm -hmm. it Here, do you want to put that in my purse so you don't forget it? Like you can't move? Uh, no, it just looks a little funny. It's like a slim fit and like I'm not slim at all. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. It's cool, kind of. But I, I know what you mean. Jean jackets are so like, like they can be really tight. You know what I mean? Like you can barely move in them. Looks cool on you. You look like someone from Greece. Same shorts and new belts. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a jacket. She got a shirt, dress. It was the free people one. I got that one because I was like, it's. Literally so cute, so why not? I mean, it was $24, which is like, you know me, I'm cheap and I don't like to spend that much money on something, but it was free people, so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Okay. We are so tired. Like, I feel like I've been in the car for like five hours. What? It was like 25 minutes. Oh. And we slept in for so long today. And it's like only five and we literally feel like we wanna like pass out. I'm so nervous too. Oh. <laughs> Does it feel anybody better? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But we're gonna do some errands, go to Ulta, go to like the new Forever 21, go to Target, get groceries, because I have like nothing to eat. I need to get fruit. Or maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. Because I'm going to Tallahassee this weekend. What? I know. But I'm going to need it because it's not like I have a meal plan these next two weeks, you know? It's a rainbow, look. It's oil. It's a rainbow. <laughs> Joe <laughs> <laughs> Can you name the movie? We'll see. I'm going to Ulta to find some more sheet masks. Look at this. Sweet tea and lemon peel away clay mask. Pulls, pour, clog, and grime. That's what I need. And it's a dollar off. We're just jamming over here to this music. I just went to Ulta. I got a few things. 
some masks, some nice cotton pads. I treated myself, you know, didn't get the like shitty ones. Got the nice those? ones. And uh, what? How do you put those in your vagina? They don't go in my vagina. They're not tampons. They're cotton, cotton pads, pads to get my eye makeup off. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so it was it the total was $38 and I used my points, but it saved me so much money. I only had to pay $8.50 like out of $38. Oh gosh, that would have like put a dent in my account, but blessed. It's like mm -hmm. awesome, right? $38 and $8, you know? But we're just like making our way around like Waterford Lakes because they have like a lot of shops. We're just like seeing what they have and stuff. I know there's like a Francesca's in the middle part, so I definitely want to go in there. So, actually, can we go there first? Maybe we can like finish back there. I was drinking my water and Ryan just went like boop. You're a rude person. And then he was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'll tell him it's still raining. <laughs> I am about to check out the newest Forever 21 came to Waterford Lakes. It looks lit in there. Definitely not the best Forever 21, but it'll do. I mean, it really doesn't have that much stuff, honestly. But I found like a place dress and I'm gonna try on some running shorts because I really like the running shorts. At the checkout line at Forever 21, I found sheet masks. Literally, I don't I don't know how much for I can 21? say this. Yeah, for every twenty one has sheet masks. You found more? Well I didn't buy any sheet masks there. I only bought a mask thing and a mask thing, but um, I really like sheet masks because they're like more moisturizing and my face is like really dry. So I like them. I think they were like two dollars or something like that, which is like super not bad. We were gonna go to Target, but I just feel like I need to like not even spend any money. Because, first of all, I'm, like, leaving tomorrow for Tallahassee, so I don't really need food, you know, in my pantry or fridge. So I'll just, like, get the food and everything I need when I get back. I'm going to take off my makeup really quick so I can try out my face masks. I'm so excited. Like, I have so many to try. I want to try them all at once, but obviously I can't. And I probably shouldn't because that would be a waste of money, right? But I also need to clean up my bathroom. It is a mess. I agree with it. I just want to show you guys this like the power of editing photos like I took like a random picture of my food it literally wasn't even that great kind of like a bad picture of my food but I decided to edit it anyways and it became Instagram worthy like what the heck I didn't even think it would be an insta I thought it would just be a visco but shit it turned you into an insta it's time, people. Good thing you didn't do this because it doesn't really hurt that bad, but it's like not a pleasant feeling. My skin looks actually pretty good. How did you like your face mask, Ryan? Very rejuvenating. Very rejuvenating, he is. All right. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I bet you're pretty. Oh yeah, we took our prom pics on here. <laughs> Just kidding, our formal pictures we took on the top of this parking garage right here. And people thought we took it like at a lake or something. And I was like, I just got that aperture on fleek though. So the background like is so blurry that you can't really see what's back there, but it's like rooftops of like nothingness. <laughs> but I mean, it looked pretty cool. That little UCF thing over there, my friends, is where I used to live my freshman year. In the water tower. Summer B. In that water tower right there. Just kidding. But I live like really close to it. At Nike. I'm dumb. And I took my SD card out to take a picture with my big camera. And I didn't put it back in my vlogging camera. Thank what? you. We're at Fujiyama now though. And we're yeah. gonna go get some <laughs> late night sushi. It's our last meal together, I'm sad. Yeah. Last dinner with Bay before you become sophomores in college and grow old. I'm so sad. 
but it's okay, you'll visit me and I'll visit you, right? Can you promise? $24 flights. $24 flights? That's only like one way though. It's the morning he leaves. It's currently 5.35 a.m. Manually. Because I'm a sidekick. Mm -hmm. You tired? Sad. Me too. I don't want you to go. Do we then? School's making me. I don't like trying school. To, trying to get rich. <laughs>